Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for August 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to make a big old shout out to the Leos out there. Happy, happy birthday to you. We are in Leo season right now. And I want to make a big old shout out to the August Virgos out there. Yeah, happy birthday to you guys as well. So I am back to my old format. Um, I have one central intro that I have recorded for everybody that everybody's going to see the same old thing and then we'll get into the reading yes so you will find a timestamp in the comments section that's pinned at the very top that will take you to the beginning of the actual reading so if you're watching multiple videos and you don't want to watch the intro over and over again you can use that timestamp I do recommend that you watch it at least once just so that you can get the general information may clear up some questions you may have yeah so I would love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. You can find the links to my, my social media accounts, both Instagram and Facebook, in the description box below. But Instagram is at divine underscore conversations. And Facebook is facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. Yes, which is very similar to my actual email address. All right. These are a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below, including the readings that I offer. So just read through that and then hit me up. Let me know which reading you would like. If you can't decide if, or if you have trouble, go ahead and email me anyway and describe the situation a little bit and I will absolutely help you choose. Yeah. If you would like to get a, a personal reading, um, I do recommend that you reach out either via email or at the very least through Instagram. Um, I don't recommend that you send me a message on Facebook because I do not always get those right away. I, I've noticed that I, oh, first of all, I don't get a notification from Facebook saying that I have um, messages on that page. Um, so often when I find them, it's like, maybe sometimes days later. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so for those of you that kind of missed out or got lost or something, I apologize for that. But Facebook isn't the best way to reach out to me. You can reach out on Instagram. I do get those notifications and I do see that. I, I do check that more often. But ultimately, I'm really just going to send you to email. All right. So you might as well just, you know, cut the extra steps and just email me. Okay. Because that's really where I handle all of the personal readings. Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So yes, this is a message coming through that's dated for August of 2019, but it does not have to resonate now. We could be talking about a situation that happened months prior, or we could talk about something that could be coming on months in advance. I do recommend that maybe you check in maybe at the, at the end of the month if you are catching this towards the beginning of the month to see if it resonates for you. But either way, or to see how it resonates for you, but either way, whenever you watch the video and it resonates at that time, then that is the message for you at that time, regardless of the date. Also, keep in mind that for the cross watchers out there, I am speaking directly to the zodiac sign in question, okay? But if you're watching the reading and it's resonating for you, then take that message. Okay. So what I may be saying for the Zodiac sign in question, let's say Aries or Leo, and you don't have that placement or you're not looking at it because you have Aries or Leo in your chart. And yet what I'm saying is resonating for you. Then maybe that message is in fact for the cross watcher and not the actual Zodiac sign in question. Again, it's a general reading. Take it as it resonates, but also please do not try to fit something into your life or into the, the situation that doesn't fit already. Like if you're watching and you're saying to yourself, Hmm, he's saying this, but that really doesn't resonate with my situation. Then let it go. Don't take it. Okay. Cause that means it's just not a message for you again general reading yeah okay um i guess that's it so with that said why don't we get started to, with the reading yeah <laughs> Mwah! hey there aquarius welcome to your reading for august 2019 thank you so much for tuning in so let's just dive into your pre-shuffle energies here um it seems like either there's some sort of disappointment on the horizon or maybe you've already been through some sort of disappointment here However, the disappointment represented here by the Four of Cups, this could be an unrequited love situation, it could be a missed opportunity, uh, some sort of boredom, apathy, um, I'm hearing an undesirable circumstance, something like that. This feels like there is a strong or deep or necessary lesson in it for you, okay? 
Um, <clears throat> and I'm getting that from the Seven of Pentacles, which is underneath the deck here, all right? Uh, the lesson could just be in your method of how you approach something, whether this is love, a career, whatever. It doesn't have to be anything specific. So take it as it resonates, okay? Um, but it's uh, what I'm getting with the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is very much like a checkpoint energy for me, okay? So you're, you're, you're at a place now with where maybe you are harvesting some sort of pro produce or something like that that you have planted and nurtured up until now. Um, and you could either be very pleased with this harvest or not. And if you're not pleased with it, it's about looking back on your process or, like I said before, your method and how you got there or how you got to this state currently and how you can change it and improve on it moving forward, okay? Um, you do have the lovers, but you also have the world. Now, the lovers here could indicate that we are talking about a romantic situation, um, maybe a soulmate situation, something like that. Uh, but <clears throat> something is closing out. The cycle is closing out here. Um, and you have to be really as objective as possible. Here you are within the King of Swords, Aquarius. Um, the energy here I'm, I'm picking up on, if you're not already in this energy, is look at this as objectively as you can as objectively as possible. See this, try at least see, also to see this in as many different ways as you, as you can to help you really understand what the problem here is or what the problem was and how to fix it or how to avoid it in the future, all right? Especially with the world and the lovers, I am definitely getting, and coupled with the Seven of Pentacles, I'm definitely getting that this is a big lesson for you, Aquarius, okay? Or maybe it's for the cross-watcher. I don't know. Take it as it resonates, guys. This is a general reading, yeah? Um, so yes, there could be some heartbreak on the horizon, or maybe you're dealing with some heartbreak, but uh, in general, <clears throat> I don't feel like you're really um, too upset or too heartbroken about this, or at least you, you may not be the potential to to not be so heartbroken um, would be um, lessened should you keep that King of Swords energy in the forefront, you know? Just seeing it for what it, it what it is, not, you know, not making it into something that it's not, okay? Which is really just a learning experience that's gonna help you close out some cycles, which is a really good thing. All right, Aquarius? All right, so let me just, oh. I'm not going to take that. Let me just um, give this a few shuffles here, and we're going to... Oh, well, there's the Three of Swords. <laughs> and then the Eight of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So maybe it is a little heartbreaking, but hey, you know, uh, healing is coming through it. So, yep. Um, I just saw the Three of Swords to the Knight of Cups, you know, so you're going to be able to love again, but take this as a lesson in how to really love someone else you know if that's what you're dealing with all right let's get to it aquarius hi spirit please make me a clear channel for all aquarians sun moon rising and venus please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of august 2019 and beyond. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aquarius, I'm giving this five shuffles, but I am seeing green energy and also some yellow, all right? So this is definitely heart chakra cleansing, clearing, and healing, and also illumination, yes? Seeing clearly what this is all about all right that's one for my aquarians sun moon rising and venus that's two three for the month of august 2019 and beyond best messages please spirit four 
Best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2019 and beyond. And five. All righty, kids. <clears throat> Ooh. Boop. All right. Overall energy, Aquarius, you've got the Seven of Cups. Okay, look. Aquarius, there are some things that you really have to start facing. Uh, some elements to yourself or elements to the circumstances surrounding you currently that you need to start really getting going through. And I feel like your ability to remain detached or aloof may have been hiding this from you or you've been using this as a tool to not really handle to keep things on surface level. I just heard surface level. So maybe whatever it is you're dealing with or your, your ability to remain aloof and detached has allowed you to just keep things surface level or platonic, but you're needing to go deeper, all right? There's some stuff that you gotta analyze. There's some stuff that you gotta look at and deal with and feel your way through. Ooh, yeah, I know. Feelings. What? Feelings? No, never. Come on, Aquarius. We talked about this. You, you have to, you have to, at some point in your life, you have to deal with your emotions. You have to face, you have to face your emotions, which also means that you have to face your fears. Okay? Underneath the Seven of Cups, you have the Two of Cups. Yeah. So there is, or has been, for some of you, I just heard a vast majority of you. So that's probably just the majority of the people that I am channeling for in this moment, for this message. But there was someone around you in your life, in the 3D, in the physical, or this could have been a, a, a number of people in which this lesson has been coming through and been trying to teach you. Um, but <clears throat> there are relationships here that have been trying to keep, teach you a lesson. Some of you might have yeah, some of you have, might have had multiple partners with the Seven of Cups, and I'm kind of feeling like for some reason either they all ended the same way or they ended in a similar fashion. But that's because of the inability or the lack of facing what is actually going on here. It's, I'm almost getting an energy of you know the definition of insanity in doing things the same way over and over again, expecting a different result. You know what I mean? Underneath the Two of Cups, you have the Six of Cups. This could be something that stems from your childhood. And underneath the Six of Cups is the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, the closing out of a lesson. Some of you either are finally getting it or you have the potential to get it. And it's not like you haven't had the potential all along. Every time this lesson comes up for you, you have the potential to learn it and close it out. Um... I just heard seek guidance. Maybe you need to seek some sort of counseling. Uh, maybe you need to see a therapist. Um, maybe you should get a reading. Maybe you should see a spiritual healer, someone that you would resonate with. Uh, I don't know, maybe get some Reiki healing. I don't know, seek help though, or seek guidance is what I heard. Okay. But with the Six of Cups here, this could be something, for some of you, this is a soulmate from your past, maybe a past life. Um, but the, the strongest thing, the first thing I picked up on with the Six of Cups is that this is something that stems from your childhood, maybe even from your family life. And it's a circumstance from your childhood, maybe some sort of trauma or just some sort of, some sort of lack here or there, I don't know, um, that has influenced you to approach relationships or your life or whatever in this manner that has now come to, you need to come to terms with it so you can heal it, so you can release yourself from this cycle, okay? All right, so let's get into the rest of your reading here. First and, first and second half of your reading, you can look at it as that, or you can look at it as the first and second half of your month. Just keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid, but take it as it resonates for you, okay? First set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius, you have the Page of Wands. Yep, resizing yourself up, re-identifying re yourself figuring yourself out what are my flaws why does this keep happening to me is what i'm hearing page of wands is coupled with the queen of swords Ooh, chow 
So this is Libra energy, or this could be you, Aquarius, but this is the energy of, now this is the counterpart to the king, okay? So the king here would be looking at things objectively and trying to see what is necessary and what isn't, what needs to be cut out and what doesn't, what needs to be ended, stopped, curbed, and what doesn't. The queen of swords is the one that takes the that would be making those cuts. Uh, I just heard willy-nilly. No, not all willy-nilly, because she's she's working in tandem with the king that came out originally. And so now, in, fa in terms of what you're identifying about yourself, the queen is coming in and making those surgical cuts. No ifs, ands, or buts. No discussion required. Where do, where do I make the incision? 11-11. Where do I make the incision? Right there, says the king. Perfect. Does it. No questions asked. Okay. <laughs> This is a balance between the masculine and feminine. That may be coming into play for you, especially with this two of cups here. That can be seen as a balance between the masculine and feminine as well. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius, in the first half of your reading, you have the magician making it happen, taking control, having confidence to know that you can manifest exactly what it is that you need or that you want, but you do have to make these changes first. But it is, it is a desire to make these changes or to a desire to experience or feel something new that you are now stepping into this magician energy and making it happen. The magician is coupled with the hermit. Introspection. Oh my God. Aquarius, this is awesome. Understanding yourself further, understanding what it is that you want understanding what it is that you need to do, to have, to accomplish, to get what it is that you want. It's doing the inner work, the inner soul searching, the find, understanding yourself, finding your inner light that is allowing you to step into this magician energy and make powerful changes, manifest, make this happen. Excellent. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Aquarius, temperance, patience, Sagittarian energy, but the alchemical process. Integrating these parts of yourself that may have been fragmented for a long time. I'm hearing years, decades even. Okay? The, uh, the temperance is that alchemical process of bringing opposing compounds or differing compounds together to make one new whole organism, entity, compound, whatever, however you want to describe it. But keep in mind, Aquarius, that this is not something that can happen overnight. So don't allow yourself to get frustrated with yourself with this if you're not quite getting it right away, okay? That was for specific for somebody. The temperance in your challenge is coupled with, ah, yes, the Eight of Swords, breaking free. Some of you have, in fact, felt trapped, bound to a certain cycle or a certain way of being. But this temperance energy is breaking you free of it. Or you, it has the potential to do so, so you, you kind of have to let it. But also don't restrict yourself from freely flowing with the universe in creating what it is that's meant to be created here. You cannot control this process, okay? You may have an idea of where you want to land but you have to allow the, the, the chemicals or the components to come together as they will. You have to allow the end result to be what it's meant to be. You can't really... Mm. It's just, what I'm picking up here is just allow whatever is changing in your life to change and whatever the end result is to just let that be what it is. Okay, don't really try to put too much control on it. Okay, closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Aquarius, you have the fool. Look at you, starting afresh, starting new, taking a leap of faith in a new direction with everything that you learned in that little satchel right there. That's beautiful. The fool is coupled with, yes, the six of wands, victory. Overcoming this cycle. A brand new person, a new you is what I'm hearing. Finally being free of something that really has been keeping you down or holding you back for a long time. 
okay? All right, getting into the second half of your reading here, Aquarius. First set of surrounding energies you've got. Ooh, the King of Cups. Emotional maturity. Having an open heart. King of Cups is coupled with? Ah, the Four of Cups. There's that Four of Cups again. Honestly, I feel like this is you coming into a sense of emotional maturity in the face of the things that you may have lost in the past. Uh, the experience that you have had that has, I'm hearing unrequited love, that has kept you feeling down. But you rising above and becoming a more mo emotionally available, emotionally open and stable individual because of what you have experienced and what you've learned. For some of you, there is a King of Cups out there that has just kind of rejected you in a way. Or you are that King of Cups and you may have been a little rejected, but ultimately the, the universe is trying to hand you that Ace of Cups that's gonna complete this four, which is gonna complete some stability, emotional stability for you, okay? So take advantage of this opportunity to learn and clear out and do some healing surrounding your emotions. Second set of surrounding energies in the first, a uh, second half of your reading here, Aquarius, you have the Nine of Cups, satisfaction. But this is, I feel like this is you becoming emotionally content just with you, with who you are, or I just heard with who you've chosen to be, okay? Nine of Cups is coupled with the Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. Feeling good about a decision to, wa to walk away. Um, feeling okay with the fact that maybe someone has walked away or someone is going to walk away. Um, but this to me is just feeling like you being in a place where you maybe you walked away from something or you've left something behind, but you're okay with it. For some others of you, the, uh, or for some of for some of you, this could be needing to walk away. That's going to lead to fulfillment or wish fulfillment or contentment. But I'm just getting an energy with the nine of cups of just being content with yourself in the face of someone or you walking away from a situation. Okay. The challenge in the second half of your reading here, Aquarius, you have the hierophant. That's interesting. What is this talking about? Some of you want to get married, okay. I'm hearing dogma though, convention, status quo. I mean, these are all normal keywords that I pick up when, I'm, when I channel from this card, but Convention and society. I'm not really sure what that means there, but okay. The Hierophant is coupled with the King of Wands. Ah, taking a leap of faith and going in your own direction, huh, Aquarius? You could have Leo in your chart. There could be a Leo energy around you or maybe another fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius. But I'm getting an energy of striking out in bold new ways being very self-confident in the face of what um, society may, how society may label you or, you know, that kind of thing. That's in your challenge though. Well, yeah, the challenge is to face, is to face, okay, yeah, face your fears to be an individual, to go, I mean, I know that the King of Wands is a fixed energy, so they're not really trying to be, they're really not trying to be a trailblazer or go against the grain, but also the King of Wands is a very self-assured individual. He's very confident, knows exactly what he wants and how to get it and doesn't give a damn about what anybody else has to say about it, you know? And that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up on here that, yeah, in, in the face of conventionalism, allowing yourself to be your own person, allowing yourself to have your own desires or, 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 or go forward and do what is what you, what you want. 
Now, in others, for others of you, some of you actually do want to get married, and this is the challenge here is you going after it. But also, Aquarius, the challenge is to take your time, to bide your time. Because the thing about the King of Wands is, yes, he knows exactly what he wants, and he's not afraid to go after it, but he also knows when the right time to strike is. And he has no problem sitting back, biding his time, and just watching things develop before he then makes the move, strikes, pops a question, whatnot, whatever. Okay? Your closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Aquarius, you have the hanged man. Pisces energy is what I heard specifically. You might have Pisces in your chart. You might be dealing with a Pisces, a Piscean. But um, uh, this is some stuck, stagnant energy. And this might have been where you've been for some time in terms of these cycles that need to be viewed and closed out for you. You could have been stuck in this cycle. But what the circumstances that are coming through now are helping you to gain some sort of enlightenment. It's like the universe was saying, watching you go through this over and over again, saying, okay, well, they're going to they're gonna come out of it eventually. So we're just going to sit back and wait until Aquarius finally starts to say, wait a second, something's not right here. Something's not working. Why isn't this working? Excellent. Now let's, let, now let's bring in the information. The enlightenment. Okay. The, uh, uh, and and the, the new perspective. The change in perspective. The hanged man is coupled with the king of pentacles. There is a lot of fixed energy here, Aquarius. I mean, the, all four kings came out for you. The king, the king of Swords, which is you, came out in you have the pre-shuffle, and now we have the King of Cups, the King of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. But the King of Pentacles is talking about that rooted energy, doing the same thing over and over again, the same process, the same cycle, changing your viewpoint of that, enlightenment, changing your perspective here. Now, as an Aquarian, you are a fixed energy. So change is fairly diff somewhat difficult for you. It's quite uncomfortable, <clears throat> okay? But change is also a good thing. And it's definitely needed here. It's necessary, all right? Okay, guys, so let's get into your Oracle message here. For my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2019. Okay. Here we go, Aquarius. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading for Aquarius for the month of August 2019. Yeah, I do feel like for some of you, this is definitely, whatever we're talking about here is going to be the focus of your month of August or a, a, of an, a bit of an extended time period from whenever you find this reading, okay? Okay. Card number 17. What is already with you? 17 is a number that's been following me around like crazy. But now it's made an appearance for you guys. All right, <clears throat> card number 17, what is already with you? You hold in your hand that which you seek. In other words, the pair of spectacles you have been rummaging around the house for are sitting on top of your head. What you are seeking, perhaps by exploring far and wide, is actually right under your nose. You may not like this idea, it is so much more wonderful to imagine there is something yet to find. Of course, there is unlimited creative potential and always something more that can be, yet in this instance, it is important for you to know that you already have what you need and what you want. That doesn't mean it's the end of the story, although it does ask you to give up the fantasy that a perfect solution lies in the future somewhere. 
Instead, it asks you to acknowledge that everything necessary for success is with you now. All you need to do is accept this and act with what you have available to you. This is good news. This particular chapter has a happy ending in store. That ending will become real for you just as soon as you stop trying to skip forward to the next chapter. Better to be completely present in the now. From here, the next phase will naturally happen without force on your part. It may not seem like you have much to start with. Perhaps you feel that you have a in you have oh, I'm sorry. Perhaps you feel that all you have is a small, simple choice to make. Perhaps you have a song to begin, an email to send, a conversation to start, or a sketch to lose. However small, it is enough to get the ball rolling. Don't make the mistake of believing that what you need is behind you, lies with another, or is yet to appear. You have all that you need to take the next step in your life, and from that, all else will flow. And there is sweetness to that. It is a small pleasure at first, but one from which greater pleasures can unfurl. This message, no, nope. no, okay. This oracle also comes with special guidance for you. You are more ready than you think you are. You are more prepared than you realize. You don't need an entire army of resources to move ahead, although you may find that when you do move, many resources suddenly become apparent. All that you need in this moment is just one sweet act of nourishment. That is enough to take you out of backwards nostalgia or regret and forwards into what is awaiting you now. Be brave, dig deep within, and enjoy the sweet surrender. So there you have it, Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that, I look forward to connecting with you. I hope you guys have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of September. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.